Hey everyone, this is a new tutorial for Ivy for Grasshopper. In this tutorial I'm going to show you the difference between the standard unroll approach for a mesh and a custom unroll approach designed to take into the account the particulars of the geometry that you are looking to unroll. So let's get started. The geometry that we are going to use is going to be a torus. Uh, we are first we are going to create the torus in Rhino. We are going to use a mesh torus. I'm going to create it a little bit above the x axis. And I am going to use the default settings. Okay. We are going to bring the mesh inside Grasshopper. Set one mesh. First I'm going to demonstrate the standard approach and uh, so we can have a comparison. Then I am going to uh, create the graph from the mesh just like you saw in the previous tutorial. I'm going to use a set weight from face angle. I am going to use a standard tree component and I am going to use the unroller so you can see the effect. Okay, and we have because uh, there's quite a few faces in the torus. It took uh, like three seconds to unroll it. Uh, and as you see, we have quite a few pieces uh, now. Uh, just to show you how many there are, I'm going to spread them a little bit. And I'm going to zoom out so you can see maybe bring them a little bit closer together so we have quite a few pieces yeah okay so this is let's call it the standard behavior of Ivy when it comes to unrolling meshes but uh, oh and if you get this uh, warning uh, it has to do with the fact that the uh, mesh that Rhino creates on the torus does not have uh, totally flat quads. I mean they are almost flat but there's like a very very small deviation. Uh, this does not affect the unrolling uh, procedure but uh, nevertheless the component gives us a warning. Anyway we can, we can ignore that for now. And let me show you a different approach. One that looks and tries to unroll the torus in just one piece. How are we going to do that? Well, first of all, uh, we are not going to use um, uh, a face angle edge weight, but we are going to use a face size node weight. So the difference between this kind of uh, weight setting for the graph and the one that we have just used is the, the most important one is the fact that this one adds weight to the nodes of the graph. This means this, uh, the, the faces of the mesh are going to receive a weight. And I'm going to plug this in. Okay. And for the tree creation uh, algorithm, we are going to use a different one, one that uh, is built to uh, use uh, node weight. And this is going to be the multi root MST node weight. I'm going to connect it. And uh, before doing the unroll, I'm going to show you, I'm going to hide first the other components. And I'm going to hide a new one. I'm going to show you how the enhanced preview of the, uh, of the, of the uh, graph on the torus. So you see how the graph is built on the torus uh, when um, the actual angle of the face is the, the weight criteria. So it's, it just moves around in circles on the torus. If instead we are looking at the node weight and a node weight that's based on the, on the size of the faces, you will see that uh, there's a, like a bunch of rings that are spinning around the torus and this will prove a much better way um, to a much better, uh, let's say, input graph uh, for the unroll uh, component. And I'm just going to plug this in 
and as you will see we have just one single component coming out of the unroll uh, of the unroll algorithm so this, there is a big difference between using just a standard algorithm that might work and it's like uh, good for everything but sometimes it's just not good enough and using this custom say uh, a weight assigning component and the appropriate uh, tree making component in the same un uh, feeding data in the same unrolling algorithm and we get from 50 or sometimes 100 pieces we can get just one single piece of course everything else works if you want you can add uh, uh, flaps for instance I will show you I'm gonna make a slider and I'm just going to plug it here in the F and you will see that all of the, the pieces here have have flaps obviously because it's uh, a one-piece unroll you will not need a lot of um, uh, information uh, printed you basically just uh, need to cut this out and roll it and create your uh, object that's it hope you enjoyed it